Hey there, this is Raymond and uh, I'm inside of a brand new home. And if you recall from some of my other videos, I worked for the big builders for over a decade. So I've had uh, extensive training in working around new home construction. And I also worked for big builders, uh, two of them in particular, when they launched their green programs. So I've had a lot of training in energy efficiencies that are built into homes and what you need to look out for as a consumer. Um, most builders nowadays have what's called, they, they rate each one of their floor plans with what's called a HERS rating, Home Energy Rating System, or SCORE. Uh, and this, what they've done is they've done tests on their homes and they've run these uh, extensive tests which will show the energy efficiency of the home. And typically a brand new home is going to be around 60 to 70 HERS score rating. The low, it's like golf, the lower the score, the better the, the energy efficiency. Uh, with an older home, the rating is usually around 130 to 165 or so, uh, in, unless they've had some energy efficiency upgrades to the home. But there's little things that you should know when you're purchasing a home. For example, the insulation is really critical. Um, in the ceiling, a lot of times uh, builders will just put the insulation that will be just on the, the floor of the ceiling, the, the floor of the attic, that, so to speak. Um, and that's good too. It's usually uh, you know, going to be laying there. It's uh, typically a blown cellulose. Uh, but then there's builders also that do what's called a radiant barrier where they have plywood that is going up there in the top of the ceiling that's coated with a, like a tin foil, which kind of bounces the heat off the roof. But one of the best forms of insulation in your in, uh, the attic is what's called cathedralized insulation. All those vents up there is where your air conditioning runs through. So if you have cathedralized insulation, it's keeping the entire attic temperature a lot cooler than uh, what normal insulation would be doing if it was laying on the floor of the attic. Then when you turn your air conditioning on, the uh, air that runs through those vents is going to be running through temperature in the attic that's cooler. So a little tidbit of information there. Also, if you're um, using, like in the walls here, blown cellulose is much better than fiberglass bat. Fiberglass bat has been used for years, and that's where, like for example, they're going to cut the sheets of the, the fiberglass and lay it in here, but it also has to go around these electrical receptacles. And what that happens is, is there's little spaces that could be there if the cuts aren't perfect, which they normally aren't. Um, and that will, if you took a shot of the wall with an infrared camera, there would be all of these, what they call hot pockets um, going around. And as you can see, there's lots of different things that are in the wall that they have to wrap the fiberglass bat insulation around, which could cause many different hot pockets. Um, when you use blown cellulose, that's sprayed on, it wraps around everything, and it's very, very efficient. That is a much better insulation to use in your brand new home if that builder is using it, or if sometimes a builder might offer an upgrade to use it. So these are just different things that we need to talk about when you're buying a brand new home with the energy efficient things that go into the home, along with, for example, dual pane low uh, the, the low E dual pane windows, they used to use argon gas in there, but now they use a film because the gas, they had problems with the gas leaking out, um, tankless water heaters. There's just, I could go on and on, but the video is getting too long. So probably the best thing to do is, is to give me a call and let's discuss what type of energy efficient home you want for your family. And then we can discover and find the right builder and find out what the HERS ratings are and go from there. So I'll look forward to hearing back from you. My number is 623-300-5074 or visit my website at enjoyarizonaliving.com and I'll look forward to working with you. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe. Press on the bell icon to get notification on every new video release.